Hey there guys, you're almost at the end of this YouTube playlist on how to make a digital multicolor stencil using Photoshop. The last little step here is going in and making sure that we've got everything saved so that it can be sent to the printer and be printed out for your final grade. And this is really actually a straightforward set. Regardless of how many uh, colors you've got or layers that you got, the steps are all going to be the exact same. So follow along with me here and uh, pause the video if it gets a little bit too fast. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up to the top where it says File. And we're going to click on that option and go down to the Save As option. Now in some cases this Save As option it might be grayed out just because you've already saved it as something. But considering this is my first time using um, the Save As option right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I will get this little dialog menu that pops open right here and again our, our windows might seem a little bit different you might get something that looks a little bit like that um, regardless it really doesn't matter what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and label this with something that we can find possibly your name um, maybe stencil, multicolor, whatever. It doesn't really matter what it is you label this as long as you label it something that you can remember. Now, in the past, working on um, Photoshop files, it was really important to make sure you had the PSD letters there so that you could come back and save stuff. But in this case, since we're all done and we want to send this off to the printer so that it can be printed, we're going to change a little bit of the information. Now, we're going to keep this tab right here to desktop this makes it a lot easier for us to find we're gonna go down here to where it says format and we're just gonna click on the down menu and locate the area that says JPEG JPEG image this is a regular standard image file uh, that all computers can read and you'll notice the last three letters here change too so if in your case you don't see the last three letters change you can go ahead and go in there and just type the letters JPG but also make sure that you got those letters down there as well and then you can go ahead and click file save now you may get this little option menu that pops up asking you exactly how you want this to be uh, compressed and this is something that I usually tell people don't worry about messing around with just go ahead and click the OK button and this will take a couple seconds I'll click that OK button this will take a couple seconds and while it's doing that what's happening is all the little layers are getting smushed together into one layer. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this to show you that my file got saved right there, your name stencil.jpg. And now I can attach this to an email or send it over using AirDrop and get it going to the school's blue, uh, color printer. Uh, I hope you guys found this video uh, helpful in this series of videos. Look forward to some extra credit videos coming your guys' way as a way that you could maybe possibly get in there and uh, get some extra credit on this assignment. See ya.